guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the 10 things you need to know before buying rats. So the first thing is you cannot just buy one rat. Rats live in groups and they need to have a companion. Even if you buy one rat and think that you're gonna be with it all day long and that they're gonna have company, it still doesn't count as enough company for a rat because there's different hierarchies and things that rats need to do while inside their cage that you can't provide for them. So the first thing you need to know is that you need to get at least two. Three is better because then you can have a bit more of a group dynamic rather than just having two. Especially if the two that you get didn't actually get along very well, then they don't have any other choice of a rat to hang around with. So it is really important to get minimum two, um, ideally three. So the second thing you need to know is that you cannot mix genders. You should have all female rats or all male rats. Rats can have babies from only five weeks old, so it's really important to not accidentally mix them. If you're wondering whether or not you should get a female group of rats or a male group of rats, I am about to do my very next video, which will be posted in a week's time, discussing all of the differences between male rats and female rats to help you make your decision. Number three is to pick out some healthy rats. So when you turn up on the day to collect your baby rats, do just check them over. Rats should have clear eyes. If their eyes are gunky or swollen or weird in any way, you really should be considering not buying them. Another thing you should check is the length of their teeth. Some rats can have problems with overgrown teeth if they haven't been given enough things to chew while they were young. This can lead to more problems later on and it will cost you money at the vet if you need to get them filed down. The last thing to look for is if they've got a clear, clean coat. If a rat is sick or not feeling well in any way, they won't be grooming themselves. So if they're a little bit smelly or their coat isn't clean, you will know that there is something else wrong with that rat. Number four is to always buy your rats from a breeder. Do not get your rats from a pet shop. There are so many reasons why. Pet shops are like mill farms for rats. They will just breed them constantly. They don't give them any nourishment. They don't spend time with them. The rats are more likely to bite and have serious health conditions and they won't breed out any health conditions that are passed down through the generations of the rats that they're using. They just want the money from you. And don't feel that if you see a rat in a pet shop that you need to rescue it because the more rats that people buy from pet shops, no matter the reason, will help the milling firms to produce more rats. Number five is to get the cage first. Don't try and buy the rats and think that you're just gonna get a cage on the day. Cages, a lot of the time, if they're big enough for rats, they will need to be assembled. It's not just like getting a hamster cage from a shop and popping the lid on the base. It's a lot more complicated than that and you will need a day to set it all up. You'll also need time if you've ordered any things for in your rat's cage, you need time for them all to arrive and to clip them all in and organize the cage and get it all ready. So make sure this is all done before you go and buy your rats. The next point is you should always have rat food and water available straight away before you bring your rats home. It's important that the food is already readily available for them so that you don't put them in the cage and then have to go fill up bowls and scare them by putting the bowls in and things like that. It's really important before bringing your rats home that their food and water is already set up. Number seven is to try and rat proof the room that you're gonna let them run around in. It's important to tie back any wires and what I always do is to just unplug things. That means if they did get to a wire for anything that it won't electrocute them should they chew through it. Another thing is that to make sure there's no holes or gaps in the room or any holes in the skirting boards because a rat can fit through a hole the size of their head. Another thing to know is that rats will chew. That, that is just their nature, that's what they do. They need to grind their teeth down and it's just kind of like an inbuilt thing in rats that they will chew. So if you let them run around your room, do expect that they might chew things. So don't leave anything out that you would regret if it got damaged by the rats. Also, do not leave anything toxic lying around the room because chances are that they will chew it. And if you don't know, rats are not able to vomit. So if they eat anything toxic or get into paint or anything like that, that might be around the room, they won't be able to vomit it up and it will kill them. Number eight is to make sure that you socialize them every day. 
Rats should be played with for at least an hour a day. Even if they've come from a breeder and they're really, really social, they will still get timid and shy of you if they haven't spent enough time around you. So don't just think that because they're social when you first get them that that's how they'll stay. Rats need a lot of company and they do need to get used to you so that they can socialize with not just you but anyone else who visits and wants to hold them. You want to make sure that your rats are friendly enough that you can trust them. Number nine is to always make sure that the way you lay out your cage at first is actually considerate of the fact that they're going to be really scared. What you should do is create one ledge, leave on there a nice house for them to hide in under, their food bowl should be up there as well, same as their washer and anything else they might need. A rat is not going to want to explore the whole cage, they're going to be really scared when they first arrive. So do make sure that the cage is feels a lot smaller and everything is all in one spot for them. If they have to walk too far to get to their food bowl, they might decide that they're too scared and they just won't eat. In my video called How to Tame Skittish Rats, you will see that when I first got my rats, I did leave a ledge for them with everything all in one place and that really helped them to warm up to me and warm up to the cage. So number 10 is after around a week of socializing with them and having them all on one ledge, it's important to actually redo the cage so that they will explore a bit further. If everything is all in one place, they probably won't want to bother exploring because it's a bit scary for them. If you do rearrange the cage for them, it will give them a chance to explore and they'll learn that the whole cage is for them and that all of it is safe. But when you do this, you do need to remember that as you clean out the cage, you will remove all of their scent from the cage. So if you take them out, redo the whole cage and put them back in, it will feel like a completely different area. They won't recognize it because you've moved it all around and they won't be able to smell their own scent left around. That will really panic them. You'll see that they'll dart around the cage really stressed out. So the best thing you can do is to leave a little blanket or something that they've had in the house for the last week. Keep that one in the cage. You can add fresh blankets and fresh bedding and everything in there as well. But do keep one thing that is from their old cage or the old setup so that they'll be able to smell their scent and they'll know that they're still back in the same area. So that was my 10 things to know before buying rats. I really hope that this helped you. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you are getting rats or you already have some because this channel is dedicated towards rats and I'll be posting a new video every single week. Thanks for watching. So today I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna need to... Yeah, good job.